Welcome to Saturday Morning Cartoons, where we watch the animation that got us kids through the Cold War and into the glittering utopia we all share today. I'm George, the sniveling lackey, to Joe and Nick of the Found Footage Festival. Hello, gentlemen. Hi. And today we are joined by a legend in the cartoon world, a voice actor with a dizzying array of credits on network and syndicated shows, including My Little Pony, Muppet Babies, Pound Puppies, Darkwing Duck, Gummy Bears, Lego Star Wars, my personal favorite, Dungeons and Dragons. In over 120 more shows and movies, hundreds of episodes, the incredible Katie Lee, welcome. Thank Yay. you. Thanks Hi, for Katie. having me. Yay. Yes, thanks I for I think I should us. have I should have just stayed in bed, but oh well. Right. <laughs> Next episode. We'll, uh, Next episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have so, I have my Adventures in Odyssey mug I got for Christmas. Oh, you, you collect fun mugs too? No, I work on Adventures in Odyssey. And so this was the Christmas gift they sent. I don't know if you're familiar with that. That is a radio program. I'm not we familiar are, with it. We are in our 35th year. Wow, congrats. I've been playing the same character for 35 years almost. What? Yeah. 35 years is the same character. Wow. Old. Is it backwards on your screen? No, no, it's, no. no, no. no oh, it's backwards on, on mine. Maybe after you can show me how to make myself not be backwards. <laughs> Absolutely, we're happy to do tech support. Uh, 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 hey, can I show my fun mug as long as yeah. we have fun mugs? Um, so this is my new thing: is I have I show off fun mugs. I don't do cereals anymore. I show fun mugs, and so you know I dabble in the VHS world. Nick and I are both uh, we do the Found Footage Festival, yeah. and because of that, from relatives and specifically my sister in law, I get vhs stuff all the time so this is a vhs mug that my sister-in-law got for me that and I is like it, super cool i like i saw that you were eating kashi last time which is my <laughs> favorite cereal yeah i'm gonna have to i want to go to your found but that sounds like fun i have like you know peewee's playhouse on vhs oh yeah and Dumbo Circus, the ones that I could record because they're real hard to find. I remember Dumbo Circus and Paul Fusco, the creator of Elf, actually worked on that. Did he, uh, who did he uh, operate? You know, I don't know. And I'm ashamed to admit that I'm not sure who he operated, but. Do you know I, I was Dumbo's voice? Really? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Number one on the call sheet. I am the only person who ever will ever talk for Dumbo apparently because that oh. was a fluke after we did 165 episodes somebody uh, got a job at Disney called um, not consistency what do you call continuity it? yes and said what Dumbo didn't talk in the movie he shouldn't ever talk Wow. So, anyway. Can I show off my, I'm doing a segment called Nick's Cool Cups. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I have cups instead of mugs. And this is a, got from Showbiz Pizza. This is Mitzi the Mouse that I was pretty attracted to as a kid, actually. That, um, that is a mug. Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's made for cold beverages, not hot. So, yeah, Nick, I it think has you to be would glass. be surprised. I bet. <laughs> is it plastic or glass? Glass. You can put hot stuff in it. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, Nick, I you're infringing on my you're infringing on mine and Katie's uh, corner here by doing yeah. that. So why don't you go get a bowl no. of cereal and come back? No, Just... it's fine. I think we should all have cups. I think that's fabulous. Thank well, you. I'm Katie. ruining it Here. by having a bowl of uh, Lucky Charms. Mm. Lucky Charms, the cereal that I ate until I had to almost go to the hospital. 
because they're magically delicious. <laughs> Indeed, they are. Yes, oh. they are. Well, come on, yeah, they're the they're George. Good. Are you really eating Lucky Charms? Though you just showed us the bowl. I didn't see the. Here's the bag of Lucky Charms. I actually ate the entire bowl while I was Where's preparing for this episode. No, because you know why he's not room. showing you the box. It's what? the generic Lucky Charms. <laughs> no, no, it's the real he's stuff. I, I even did the um, I even did the puzzle on the back. Oh, you did. Oh, um, cool. Well, let's see it. I'd love to see it, George. Ah, uh, be right back. <laughs> Put in, uh, put in some music. You don't, have to, you don't have to. You don't have to. I trust you. Uh, I think it might be. I think it might be like what's uh, what's another synonym for lucky? It is. Like a. No, no, oh. real lucky charms. It's yes. just a different, a different. I thought it would be like uh, for, leprechaun. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Fortunate trinkets. That's the the cereal yeah, I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. But. Well, today we're going to be watching the 1996 Richie Rich cartoon because. Our special guest, Katie Lee, did the voice of Richie Rich. Yeah, I did. Wow. That's a very lovely dress you're wearing today, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You heard it here first. Well, now, let's watch a uh, promo for it. I am Richie Rich, the world's richest kid. And a lot of people come to me for stock tips and financial advice. Well, like I tell them, it's a changing market and you're always taking a risk when you invest. But I'll give you a tip that's a winner all the way. The new Richie Rich Show. Seen every week right here on this station. It's priceless fun and adventure with the most exciting bunch of folks you've ever met. Don't miss it. Sunday at 1030 on Kids WV56. <laughs> Oh my word! Where did you get that? Can I? I have never. I don't know if I've ever seen that. <laughs> I'll send it to you. <gasps> I don't even remember saying that, but that is me. Yeah. <laughs> do, wow. do, you for, do you forget certain jobs that you were on? I mean, you must like how many hours a week do you, do you voice over stuff? Oh, every day. I mean, you know, if it's audition back then, not as much. Actually, it's a lot different now. Because we have right. our own studios and we could, but you know, we'd go in to work maybe two or three times a week. But boy, I don't remember doing that's that is so cool. I want to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll hear more oh, Richie more Rich later. All right. Yes. All right. Well, you know, I wasn't just Richie. You were Irona, is my understanding. No, I don't think so. IMDb but... claims it, and they're never wrong about anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll have to watch and see. But I was a couple, because I've used that uh, that on, on my demo reel, and I was this girl who had a French accent. And... Frenchy French? No, and another oh. girl. So anyway, maybe we'll see, you know. I wanted to bring this up because, like, I, I remember when I first le learned that Rocky was voiced by a woman, June uh -huh. Foray from Rocky and Bullwinkle, and being like, what? Like, as a kid, I just, you know, you always associated that, I guess, Rocky the Flying Squirrel with, like, a boy's voice. So why is it? And then, of course, you've got Nancy Cartwright as Bart. And, and so why do so many women end up voicing boy cartoons? Well, probably a couple reasons. One is because we can, because I can, you know, sound like a boy, usually, kind of like Richie that way. Um, back then, um, you know, if they didn't want to have a studio teacher and wanted an adult, most men can't sound like boys, but women can sound like boys. And, and, and our voices don't change like some boys do. So right. you can do the same character for 35 years so you if you need to. So you could do the same character. So <laughs> I could still, if they rebooted Richie Rich, I could still do his voice. Well, we're doing our part. Thank well, you. I appreciate I was gonna say. I was going to say with Peanuts, they actually cast they used like real kids. kids. But, but they're not very good. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, that, that. that's the charm of the Peanuts no, no, exactly. That's the charm of it. But, like, the Simpsons couldn't do that. Like, it would just... No, because they've like, been on for 34 years, too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But also, like, I don't know, like, kids don't know comedic timing. Like, that's definitely the charm of the Peanuts, like, the Christmas, well, fest, you know, the, all that stuff. But their comedic timing is not very well, good. Well, that's the other thing, being able to get a session done quickly, understanding the script, you know, that's why right. they use it. Because they need their, like, applesauce. We went, and their, we went yeah. through a big period where they decided they did want to use kids. And so, yeah, we had competition. Our own children became a competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I well, I have a lot of questions for you, Katie, but I don't want to derail George's plan here. So oh, yeah, I, yeah. I will I will jump in during the episode with some yes, questions. Yes, please do. I okay. am just so delighted. I don't know how you found that. You have to tell me. How did you oh, find I'm, that? They, uh, Joe and Nick keep me around because I'm the weirdo that can find stuff hidden around the internet. I mean, that's I, my whole deal. Creepy. Well, I'm looking yeah. at that thinking, I must have made some money doing the promo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got What's Excel that? sheets with all that. Don't worry about it. I'll send you your tax returns from past years. It's all. I've got it all. Don't worry. George, oh. is able to, George is able to find a lot of stuff like at a creepy level. So it yeah. might not be as like fun. By, Where by do you live, episode. George? Uh, undisclosed location. But, um... <laughs> Sorry for the personal question. No, no, no. It's <laughs> we, We're trying to focus on you because you are our, our special guest. Now, what cartoons did you watch growing up and were they, uh, um, did you imitate them while you were watching? I'm not sure if I did it while I was watching, but you know, you just watch things and those are the characters that get cemented in your, I loved Beanie and Cecil. I watched Mighty Mouse, Fractured Fairy Tales, um, all, you know, the ones, I love the Jay Ward cartoons. Dudley do right. You must have watched Looney Tunes. Uh, yeah. Uh, but and which led to amazingly, if if my research is correct, that um, you actually worked with Mel Blanc on his son's uh, <laughs> uh, a a safety film. His son he, produced. He's a creep. Called, he's a called creep. An, he like ounce of prevention. Is and, that what it's called? Yes. And now tell us what voice you provided in that. If it's Noel's sons, that was like my first job yeah. or second job because my my stepmom knew him because she worked at the hair salon where he got his hair done. And somehow no. she must have told him about me. Yeah, she worked at, at this hair salon in Beverly Hills. That's what happens when you live in L.A. and grow up in L.A. And she must have told him what I was doing. And, and it was for the Shriners Burns Institute. And really, all they wanted was to hear a little girl screaming because she gets scalded in the bathtub. <laughs> so hot out of the gate, you've got your what? first credit. And, and it's, yeah. a, it's a burn victim. Um, now, I came to know you from your work from the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Um, ah, neat. Did you see my Sheila? I got all these things. I should give some to. Oh, look. Yes. There's these oh. new little things. They don't call them keychains because I think they get taxed differently or something. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, yeah, little well, Sheila there. Oh, nice. So yeah. you portrayed on that series, you portrayed the 13 year old thief Sheila. Is she, she 13? This, according to what I've read, I never, wow. I always thought she was much older. I mean, she much appears, older. I was like eight. She so. appears much more developed than yes. thirteen. But okay. Um, and you, you had this. You said it, not us. Yeah, so. you had this cloak of invisibility, and it made this incredible sound. That's it not very, very invisible, is it? Like if you hear it, it kind of. <laughs> I have been That's haunted a by good copy by this scene. She's in like a void. Yeah, this is terrifying. Presto, Presto. Eric, Eric, anybody, anybody. You know, I'm I'm a kid growing up watching this alone on a Saturday morning, and I am freaked out. <laughs> I mean, that was a scary cartoon. Like, but you I, got I, such a good print. Uh, just uh, just uh, stolen off YouTube. I don't know. That looks really good. Maybe it's something somebody restored. Wow, that George is scary. That's like my dream. Do you ever have that, like, where you're falling and when you're when you're lying in bed? Yeah. S sometimes during the, sh the taping of the show, I have that. You have that same um, feeling. Wow, yeah. that scared you. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It was, you know, it helped me grow and become a. Uh, the man that uh, you are today. Yes. If the, that's... Cre the creep that you are today. <laughs> yes. I and don't you know like what? being alone. I may be wearing a Sheila shirt right now. Whoa! Look at that. Wow! How about License that? too. Really? Yes. Wow, I, need, I hope you're I... seeing some uh, <laughs> some coin off that. Yeah, right. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody is the guy on the street corner is selling. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's that's where I got it. There's a uh, there's a uh, no, guy there's selling pretzels and Dungeons and Dragons stuff. merch. 
Yeah, uh-huh. there's but there's such a, an incredible fan base for that show when the internet like came out. Which was, yeah, that was one of the first things I looked up, and there I was mean, a there were sites. The people are writing scripts still. They are still writing scripts. There's a I I'm actually on one of the Facebook groups, and I see, and they're they're recoloring things and and taking the music and write. They're still like so into it. It's amazing, and they have this amazing Brazilian commercial using Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, um, we watched that because we covered a different ep- Dungeons and Dragons episode, and we showed you did. All, the, all the zany toys. That was before I was brave enough to actually contact you. We had to build up enough episodes to make oh. it seem like we're legit, oh, as I opposed to a bunch of weirdos. I was wondering who your guest was for that. Uh, if, if, if you don't mind me asking an age question here, but like, how old were you when you were doing Sheila's voice? When I was, like, well, uh, what year was it? 83, I believe. 83, 85, so like 25. somewhere in there. 25? Okay. All right. Playing like okay. 10, 10, 12 years younger. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think I thought she was 13. I don't, I never, <laughs> I don't think I thought she was that young. I thought she was in like high school. Let me just show you a tiny sampling of some of your other voices. Um, this is like, this is like, this is your life. Show? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, this yeah. is your life. Okay. Okay. So, you did Shady and others on My Little Pony, Sunny on Gummy Bears, Honker Muddlefoot on Darkwing Duck, Iggy on Camp Candy. Um, and since these are ensemble shows, I took a bunch out of context. So, this makes no sense. But the, the general theme is people in, people anxious or in distress. Don't touch that channel. Theodore, what about the seeds you were supposed to bring? I don't like surprises. They're too surprising. We can see fine from under here. Thank you. Gee, she's never been late before. Well, I can't wait all day. I've got to get back to the kitchen. But they've thrown out all the sugar. What am I going to do? Hey, watch it. Um, well, I, um, we, um, 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 there is this, um, Stand back, everybody. Spit it out! A lady jumped out of a panic when she painted the door of this glass and took the statue back of that picture. Help me! That's had... shady. That's yeah. shady. I always think people know Fizzy. I did Fizzy's voice. I didn't know I was shady. Wow. <laughs> but we, this is the most educational did, show for you so far. We did so many ponies. You know, they kept Hasbro kept coming out with more ponies. They're so like, we need I must more have ponies. done like twelve of them. Like we go into <laughs> yeah. work and they'd say, "Okay, now we have." seahorse ponies and now we have baby seahorse ponies so we're turn just them out all turn out the ponies <laughs> we did i did many ponies but in the movie version i know i was fizzy and baby sundance mm. uh, uh yeah i never uh you, but you're a lot good at distressed you're good yes. you, you really like nailed distressed and like yes i didn't realize in there was peril a theme. yeah <laughs> Well, I mean, cartoons do that a lot anyway, right? You yeah, have to have the some sort of... Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but Richie Rich was not in distress. He was this well-known <laughs> character. He was uh, the wealthiest kid in the world. Happy-go-lucky. Never lets having all the money in the world get in the way of having a surreal and whimsical time. Um, <laughs> he first appeared in Little Dot in 1953, then spun off into his own show. Uh, not show, comic. But then there were dozens of those comics. I actually learned to read on Richie Rich comics in the late 70s and early well, 80s. Richie but Rich want... there. Look at and, how uh, muscular he is. I had to show this one. This he, is, he's uh... rippy ripped. He's pretty buff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's this is just disturbing on a variety of levels. Um, <laughs> I would but, say so, yeah. And he was in one animated series from 80 to 84 and a live action film in 94. And then 96, as we said, you appear and the, uh, you Deke take up the mantle. It. Yeah, yeah. Deke, Deke Can I ask, like, what's the appeal of like a rich kid as your protagonist? Like, is, is he charming, or like, is he like, is he uh, does he help people? Is he a superhero? What's his deal? I think he was nice. Okay, <laughs> He's a uh, nice rich, a rich, per- nice rich person. Yeah, you know, anyway. but uh, I think you, you know, I'm I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, let's see if we can find out when we watch the first episode. 
by the end, maybe we'll all be like, oh, wait, I get it. Mm-hmm. I get Richie Rich. Yeah. Well, because he was a nice rich kid. and you know. so, it, so it is fan- a fantasy show then. <laughs> I suppose uh, so. All right. He's got union busters working for him. I mean, yeah. you know what? The fan, what it is, is everybody wishes they had that life. So it's a fan. It's what people imagine. Oh, could I have a robot? Could I have my own helicopter? That's like stuff you want as a kid, right? That's a good exactly. point. Yeah. yeah. Like exactly. the toy, the movie, the it, toy. And you'd watch it and you'd be like, oh, I would be a nice rich person like Richie Riches. Like, if I, had I wouldn't be fun. like those other rich people trying to get to Mars. I would be right. going around and having fun. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here we go. Katie Lee, star of Richie Rich. Hi, oh, guys. <laughs> Richie Rich has got the Midas touch and the heart of solid gold. I like the art. Never will forget I do. Friendship can't be on the soul. <laughs> Would you watch these afterwards, Katie? If I could, yeah. yeah. You know, you got to watch it on uh, TV. I mean, you know. When it air? What, yeah. So what year was this? 96. 96. So would so, you like set your DVR to like, well, I guess DVR didn't exist at that point. Would you set your VCR it, to? I bet I have some. Yeah, VCR. I must have some on the But then show. you'd watch it to see what they would do with your voice, right? Well, yeah. I mean, oh, that was the most exciting thing. You know, you record all these shows and then you can't wait till they premiere. So you get to see what it looks like. Sometimes they, they you know, have the first shows and bring it into the studio, you know, Mm. To show you what it would look like. The best. I like it so far. I'm wondering who's singing that. I wonder if that's Jess Harnell. You recognize the voice? I. That male voice sounds so familiar, but I don't know who it is. So, George, can you figure that out? I, we'll check the credits at the end because there, we have those included. If it there. says, it, it may not. But, you know how there's like, you know, how there's like bus driver bars and cab driver bars and stuff. Are there voiceover animation bars where everybody hangs out and talks shop? Welker sitting there in the corner by the jukebox. <laughs> Lorenzo um, music. Uh, Lorenzo. You know. uh, well, there, there used to, when we used to go to work, um, there's a couple places where you would see people, you know, restaurants near the studios. There's one, can't think of the name right now, but I, I bump into Pat Fraley and uh, Chuck McCann used to hang out there all the time. And, uh, yeah. Um, who are they? I don't know. Who are they? I don't know who they are. Pat Fraley? Yeah. No, oh, he's been a lot. Pat is, uh, well, he's known as Krang. I think on the mutant teenage yeah movie, right? oh yeah but okay. he's and we were stomach on glow, creature. glow friends together um glow friends <laughs> yes would you be in the same room together recording these uh-huh yeah. okay okay you play you wouldn't do it like so that was where like... we would hang out is at work right that's the fun place to go uh yeah and, yeah um chuck mccann oh he used to be a puppeteer he if you watched old commercials, do you remember? I think it was for, I don't know if it was deodorant or what. he look in the mirror and he'd go, hi, guy. Do you remember that commercial? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to try to find it so that we can watch it during the commercial. Yeah, oh, yeah. Chuck McMahon. Yeah, he, okay. and, and, and other stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know where we would. Just curious, because I love all the yeah. Hollywood lore, you know. He wants to like, go find it and hang out there. And that's well, basically like, it. if yeah. you're doing ADR, like, outside of the old, right. um, uh, oh, it was, I think it was a Warner Brothers lot. There's a Chinese restaurant, Formosa Cafe, um, which was near a recording studio, SDI. Um, yeah. Uh, I just, I'm just going to get my maps of the SD voiceover directors. stars. <laughs> and uh expect a knock at the door in about a half hour no, we you know we would where we would see each other is just like in casting offices right right and at work 
Okay, dead silent. <laughs> this is gonna be some party. Cousin Reggie, is this banner hanging straight? Oh, uh, sure, Reggie. Looks good. Cousin Reggie, yes. is this banner you know, hanging break? straight? Gee, I don't know, Dad. <laughs> and that's really Jeannie an Elias. Party was start. Reggie. Oh, yeah, we're real busy. Lots to do. Work, work, work. Too bad. I'm going to take a peek at Professor Keenbean's new invention. Break, break time! time! <laughs> what is this new invention? It's a three-dimensional uh, copying machine. It, it works just like a regular copying machine. Only this one can copy any object. Ob ob observe. Well, now we have those, don't we? We basically do. 3D printers. 3D yeah, printers. 3D printers, yes. Oh, wow. 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 That's a 3D printer. Yes, it is. I bet oh, you yikes. the kids this are going to get duplicated. Uh, yes, yeah, huh? yes, quite true. Uh, it's a good guess, Katie. <laughs> Ooh, I'll tell you what. Uh, there's for some reason, it reverses no the new plots when you've worked on put in a million good, cartoons. My bad. husband, I'll, I always and guess I'll... what's going to happen. He's like, did you write this? But So, so yeah. let me guess. How many times have you been shrunk down in a cartoon? Isn't that like every 10th episode of every cartoon? In the first season, you got to get shrunk down because the cells are the same size. You just change the backgrounds. Oh, you know, I don't know. Was I shrunk in the... the I don't know if I... Duplicated I'll, I'll shrunk. List. Falling down a trap door. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Well, totally we, spies. We definitely went through a lot of. Uh, what? Well, oh, there's always the Egypt episode too, right? There's got to be the Egypt <laughs> Riding episode. Riding a camel. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> well, when the the one show I think that's really a, a real oddball show, my first series called Pandemonium, was pretty I remember Pandemonium. bizarre. And I think we probably rode some camels and did some stuff uh, in that show. Um, I've been lobbying to watch Pandemonium. We'll, we'll get to it at some point on that. It's, <laughs> it's something worth dropping your mouth over. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Look forward to that. Well, son, that machine's still experimental. You better not get too close. Uh-oh. That bad Reggie. Uh -oh. I sense a dual roll. Oh, we got shrunk in Darkwing Duck, didn't we? At the miniature golf course. Wait, uh -oh. come back! Where are you going? Mega Red, Mega, Mega Red Team. Move this crate! Uh, I like how you called it within one up. second of uh, seeing the machine. Hey, Bascom, where are you The kids are going to get so duplicated. Slow? Who do you think you're driving, Miss Daisy? Hit the gas! Burn some rubber! Floor it! Pop me? Floor it! Never mind, I'll drive! Give me the wheel! Why's a red? Slow down! Oh, wait, he's the bad one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the bad one. Red eyes. Uh, I'm already confused by this episode. Whoops. <laughs> Look at this mess. I want it cleaned up. Yes, Master Richie. <laughs> oh, it's, so, it's always so fun to What's play your mega. Here, <laughs> yeah. up I love your that. Accident, Master Richie. My accident? Put in something good and out comes something bad. Something bad. Uh -oh. Something bad. Wow. There he goes. I have He's so him. bad. What do you have? Does he have to like stab? I have to stab my own self in the heart or something? Oh, no, I haven't seen the ending yet. I don't. It's gonna be violent, whatever it is. <laughs> now that is one good butler. <laughs> Whoa. I want to know if I was Irona or not. Marbles. Maybe we'll Not hear. Very, uh, I, I, uh, I have to go. Uh, very good, sir. Man, I haven't seen this stuff in what thirty years. Yeah, ninety-six. Very funny, Master Richie. Hilarious. Oh yeah, that is me. Is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, Irona, but I. I you're talking to yourself. You the robot there too? I promise to explain later. Oh, Richie, I didn't know I was Irona. For your there it is. We used to do a lot of shows. It's mine! Oh, mine! <laughs> Reggie, have you seen Mr. Mm -hmm. Never mind. 
This is a fun show. It is ruined. I must make another. That's Rene Aubergenois. So he actually is French. What's got me? Yeah. I love money, especially when it's mine. This is terrible. I've turned into Reggie. Reggie. Dear, have you noticed that Richie is acting rather strange today? No. Strange? How? Where'd you get that rag? Did Ronald McDonald no, have a yard No, the thing is, sale? when you have good and bad, it teaches kids what's ugly and what's nice, too. You have to mm -hmm. Goofus and Galen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I was Goofus's voice. Highlights did uh, 12 things for just recently, a couple years ago. No way. Yeah, a few years ago for Audible Books, they made 12 shows of goofus and gallant i got to be goofus no way i love oh. goofus and gallant yeah that's, me too in, in highlights i would always go straight to goofus and gallant yeah, that was the me best too. part yeah. yeah yeah and goofus and, is the money roll too i mean gallant yeah take it or leave it but yeah, whatever. play goofus yeah. that is yeah incredible. i kind of i kind of i really wanted that role originally they wanted me to be gallant and, and i was reading uh, with the director and the other guy was doing goofus and i was like so <laughs> I said, "Do you mind if we switch and let's see how we treat the?" And then, then they asked, so I got the goofus. Oh, hey, boy, yeah, that's spilling the tea right here on Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> yeah, total pro. But the other guy was great as Gallant. He was just better as Gallant. That's how. Sorry. Which way did he go? Oh my gosh, the party! The dad always gives his allowance Happy birthday, in a wheelbarrow full of money. Was that not how you I, did I it as a kid? I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> well, no, we did it, but it was only like three bucks in you the know, wheelbarrow. You know, it's so funny because we don't really, when you're working on the show, you don't know what it looks like or a lot of the visual stuff. Yeah. You, know? right. you just do the dialogue and then you don't realize what is like certain iconic things. My character, Honker, is really funny, but he usually doesn't say anything. The funniest parts, there's no dialogue. He's just doing stuff in the background, which is was really delightful to see. I found that uh, Right Guard commercial, George. Do you want right me to put guard? that on? Is that what it is? Right Guard? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was going to take a brief <laughs> commercial break here, and okay. you tell me if this is the one. Oh. Who are you? Oh, how you doing, guy? Yeah, that's and, Chuck. Uh, your neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> that's Chuck. Can you share the same medicine cabinet? <laughs> it's a new modern apartment. Hey, I we see can... you got silver rice, guy. New antiperspirant. <laughs> yes, sir. Stop so that keeps you dry. Yeah, it does. Yeah, right? I know all about that. I got the regular rice, guys. Yeah, one shot, and I'm good for the whole thing. <laughs> two kinds of people, two kinds of rice, guys. Mona. He's good. My... He's yeah. good. Yeah, that's that's really funny. It reminds me, you know, the other shows I would watch, I used to watch Winchell Mahoney all the time, and that's not a cartoon, a puppet show. And then I got to work with Paul Winchell on The Gummy Bears. Nick is a big oh. fan of Paul Winchell. I also played his, he was, he was Gargamel mm -hmm. in Smurfs, and I played his niece, Denisa. Gargamel's oh, really? niece she played? Oh, wow, you get some great roles. I really, I have. When I look at all my whole life, that's why I know everybody, but not everybody knows me. Like I have, I'm always like in the background playing something that's not that well known, but I've, I've been really blessed to work with. It, you know, is it, is it the greatest watch. job on the planet? Like I always yes. ask, voice, yes. I was going to say, like, I always ask voice talent people who come on the show. It's got to be the greatest job in the world. Like, look, you, you have a studio right there in your house, right? To record yes, things. now I do. Yeah. You don't even have to leave if you don't want to, and you get to like just. Joe's just trying to stay and... on his couch for the rest of his life, and he's hearing about what well, you're doing. Well, you know, it, uh, it might be the job for you. I want to put up some of those spongy, the sponginess, the spongy stuff that you have behind you. I want acoustic to put that foam. up behind me. Acoustic yeah, acoustic foam, foam, or you can get some egg cartons. I'll get whatever it takes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, well, I, the fun part was going to the studio. Trust me, it's way more fun going to work with your buddies than working alone. Let's watch some commercials. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. Now 
TV. No TV. What? No. Hello. I'm Pee Wee Herman. Talking Pee Wee is really Now, how many of these, cool. Nick, There's do you have? I know you are, but what <laughs> Two. am I? Pee Wee has a radio show now on Friday night. Is he really? On what channel? He's with NPR on KPCC. Box for you and your kid, Cherry Soul Separately. I, I love Pee Wee. Good luck. And now, Good luck. It all started back when I was a kid. <laughs> you have this too, I'm sure, right, Nick? My name was Gordon. Yeah, somebody Gordon sent this to me. Actually, I prefer Alf. <laughs> it's new story time. The ears don't wiggle I, as I well. I worked on no Teddy Ruxpin. Did you really? The cartoon? Well, on the toy and then the, the, oh. um, and the live action, not the cartoon. Really? Oh, wow. They did the, the cartoon in Canada. Separately. Batteries not included. But, New from but the, the cassette tape was like an Another audio play that would play out, thing. right? Mm -hmm. This is a job for... Beetlejuice! It's showtime! Uh -oh. My buddy it's Will Ryan was Grubby's voice. And they went, who I do my... I have a pod YouTube show, too, called Tell You Later that we started last year. Oh, yeah? And he was in everything. And unfortunately, he passed away in November, and that's really sad. I wish he could have been a guest on your show. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, but he, was, he, he played was Grubby? Mm hmm In what, in what uh, cartoon? Teddy, Teddy Ruxpin. That's Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, in Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah, for the toy, yeah. for the yeah. live action, for the cartoon, yeah. I wanted a Teddy Ruxpin, but never got one. Now back to Saturday Morning Cartoons. Can you tell me like what's going on here? Because I'm uh... <laughs> the bad Richie is is creating He's havoc. He's gonna destroy the birthday party if we don't stop him. All right, okay. let's let's all try to pitch in and stop him. Okay. He's a bad egg. Where's the good Richie? What's the matter, Richie? You seem nervous. And that's Jeannie Elias, who is also Reggie's voice. Oh, okay. Specialized wow. in red-haired cartoon characters. Excuse me a second, Gloria. I guess so, yeah. Ooh, he's so oh, yeah, He has the red eyes. Okay. Sorry. There was a bad honker once, too. That was fun. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I like the bad version. I can't get over this present you gave me. The ba all the bad versions of cartoon characters should have a spin-off. Like Suicide Squad, you know, just like the evil versions of characters. <laughs> I'd like to see their own. That would be fun. Cartoon. Now there's a yeah. pitch. There's a mm -hmm. pitch. For All right, you. working on it. Uh, no, of course not, Richie. I mean, I can't get over what a sweet gift it is. You even made the frame yourself. Boy, you are easy to please. Boy, you are Let's easy go. to please. Uh -oh. <laughs> Son, you have a lot of explaining to do. Dad, I went back to get a close look at the professor's machine after you told me not to, and somehow the machine turned on and it made a copy of me, a nasty, greedy copy of me. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, we forgive you, son. But now, what can we do to get rid of this nasty, evil you copy? You the dad was smiling when he was confessing. Oh. He was smiling? Yeah, it was weird. Hmm. Wait, wait, hmm. go back. Go yeah, back. He, he should have been concerned. Photo. Yeah, it was an odd smile on his look. See? Yeah. I mean, a nasty, greedy copy of me. Oh, See, he oh, yeah. smiles when he yeah. says nasty, greedy you, copy. Me, a nasty, greedy copy of me. But now, what can we Maybe that's the evil Mr. Rich. What could oh. be? Do to get he doesn't have red eyes, though. The evil copy of you. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Oh, oh, oh Rich, no, 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 not that sir. bad. No, uh, no, no, by that I mean there's nothing you have to do. The machine isn't perfected, so the copies only last an hour, then they just... Oh, just, just disappear. Nick, I feel like because you could do a kooky never... professor. Can you pause? Nick, I yeah. feel like you could do a kooky professor. And Nick, why don't you okay. do a kooky professor, and then Katie, you tell Nick if he has what it takes. Okay. 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 Oh, uh, why? Well, I, I just had to notice that the machine only lasts an hour. Yes, totally has what it takes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. That's I it. sense a spin off right here. Yes. <laughs> and since that nasty or deranged clown, I feel like that could be deranged real, clown. It will yeah. Disappear. Let's go see. Oh. 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 Let me serve the cake. These are all 
only like ten minutes episodes, huh? Yeah. Pretty. Oh, why? Thank you, sir. I like that. That's digestible. There had to be a logical explanation for all those terrible pranks. You're much too nice to behave like, well, like Reggie. <laughs> Reggie thinks. Hey. I just hope you all forgive <laughs> me. Little in the update. Trouble. Of course, oh, of course, of course we do, Richie. Accidents happen. All bad Give people are one. slow on you the update. You know it. Money helps smooth over Richie, things like that. Richie, you're one of a yeah. kind. That is so cute. I Wait, wish what, Jeannie was here to watch that with. Me. What What happened to the uh, the bad Richie? He disappeared. He the machine wasn't perfect, and so they were able to make these things, but then after an hour, they just disappeared because they weren't real. It's pretty much the exact same thing as Blade Runner. What were you doing? Did you go Did you go to the bathroom or something? I, I drifted off to the Bahamas there for a little while. Yeah. It, it'll happen. It'll happen. They never showed uh, the bad Richie disintegrating or what it was like. <laughs> well, they how... did. He was carrying the... Oh, so they were carrying oh, hey. the cake. There it is. So At the top. Susan must have been the mom... Uh, but no. she didn't. She wasn't the mom the whole time. There's another uh, another woman played my mom. Do they do they go in order of importance? Since you're Richie Rich, you get to go on top. Is that? I I. L yeah, it's is not that your agent. Did your agent order. get you that? I have no idea. But can I take a screenshot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. You know how Richie Rich had like the. Uh... The RR, you know, lo logo on, on the gates out front of his. Uh -huh. uh, you can I see it right there. On yeah, it. yeah. So I think, Katie, I don't know what your home is like, but if you could get a KL, I, I think that would be only appropriate. Well, uh, uh, can can in, uh, any of you design that for me? <laughs> sure. We'll oh, yeah, I'm sure, so, okay. yeah, I'm sure somebody yeah. can get it. What, what about a tattoo? What about that RR tattoo? Like, you get it like on, I don't you know. You know, it looks kind of like an alien. It yeah, does. you know, you get that on your like... forearm. That could be cool. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on the tattoos. <laughs> I'll leave that to my. We'll, kids. we'll chip in. We'll chip in. <laughs> you we'll get do a it. Kickstarter, on... and I'll take a picture with you. How about that? <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, so it doesn't it have who who sang does it. The music? It's I don't. Music. Think so. Mike Tavera, Tavera did Tavera, the music and uh, lyrics by Billy Martin, but oh, I'm not seeing the singer. Yankees. The Yankees quote. I wish they said who's singing, mm. but I I didn't think they would say. Yeah. Complete pose. Wow, that was, that good. was that one... super fun, you guys. I'll watch any of my shows with you. I mean, the best copies. Yeah. Uh, well, I was charmed by Richie Rich. I mean, yeah, I didn't pay full attention, but I I did. Obviously. I was, <laughs> yes, I I was charmed by Richie Rich, and I get it now. He's what? nice. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice. It's better, you know, because. Then in the 90s or 2000s, they had all these icky characters that aren't nice and really aren't very good role models, I have to say. Yeah, the brothers yeah. Grunt and all those. Uh... Oh, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead, yeah. Butthead. Yeah. 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 Nickelodeon right. graced us mm -hmm. with all those. Had to be gross out, yeah. Obnoxious yeah. characters, but Richie's pretty sweet. We've heard an awful lot of Katie Lee's voices. And so, Nick and Joe, it is time for you guys to play the most popular game show in this series' history. Woo! It's Who is Katie Lee? Who is Katie okay. Lee? So, you're going to have to listen very carefully mm -hmm. because you're going to have to answer three questions. For which of the falling Muppet babies did Katie Lee provide the voice? Hiya, Kermit! Gosh, Fuzzy, I never knew you were so tall. And I never knew you had such smelly feet, Fuzzy. Why don't you wear shoes? So was it Fonzie, Kermit, Rolf, or Gonzo? I was saying Gonzo. Who is Katie Lee? I'm going Rolf. Katie Lee. Far out. Yeah, I did Rolf the dog. Yes. Woohoo! On the board! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question two. I, I love that you're uh, doing the voice, too. As the I reveal. love that you do the voice. I mean, I'm always like, I always want to ask the voice talent people to do the voice, but I know that's, you know, you don't ask the people to do the voice, right? I mean, oh, like, that, that's, the that's... only way people are going to watch this show is if I do the voice, right? But that was, that was <laughs> organically. We didn't prompt it. It just exactly, came out. So exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Two, for which blockbuster film of the 1980s did Katie Lee provide the voice? Is it Return of the Jedi, 
Is it Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Listen carefully. Oh, excuse me. I have heard the no. stories of the Thuggy Cult. I thought the stories were told to frighten children. And I assure you, this will never happen again in my kingdom. Wait, that's mm. the kid's voice. Well, but they, they do ADR. They ADR'd it in? Maybe. Okay. I'm saying well, Return of the Jedi, Ramba the Ewok, A. Okay, I'll go with the temp I'll go with Maharaja. You are correct. I did the Maharaja's voice. Wow. <laughs> two for two. All right. But you know what's funny? I did an audition for an Ewok. They flew me out to Berkeley to audition <laughs> yeah. for a not Ewoks. The, there's a little girl. I think I was, they were dubbing her. Oh, oh in the movie, it? the TV movie version, or the no, cartoon, the film, the film. Oh, hmm. they needed a yeah. I I read. I did something. I went up there and auditioned. I didn't wow. get the role, but hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Number three. On which show that we've watched on Saturday morning cartoons did Katie Lee perform a voice? Was it Problem Child, Poochie, or Pro Stars? Oh, good. This is uh, a good one. This is a good one. Yeah. I'm going Problem Child. Uh, Katie, you look like you would play Problem Child. I think that, I, I would think if they could, paid me for sure. I think mm -hmm. you could have knocked Problem Child out of the park. I'm going to say, I'll say Problem Child as well, actually, on this one. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to switch then if we're going to go for the same ones. I'm going to go with um, Pro Star. No, nah, not Pro Star. Well, it could be a trick. I'm going to go see Pro Stars then. Katie? I took my answer. It was Poochie, but. Whoa! It's actually, according to IMDb, you're in all though? three of them. What? Yes, well, I apparently. thought Problem Child sounded familiar, but <laughs> who did that one? Is that a, a series or a Saturday morning? What is it, was, it was a syndicated. Oh, it was syndicated? Yeah. You did yeah. all of them? I thought Problem Child sounded familiar. Now, Pro Stars, I don't know what I did. Additional voices. There are a lot of those Probably. credits. Probably. But, but here's Poochie, the Poochie I did work on. Yeah. Here you go, which we watched just a few weeks ago. I thought Problem Child sounded familiar. Help me. Oh, help me, Poochie. You're the last chance I have. That's me. Yep. And that's wow. how you play Who is Katie Lee. Help me, Poochie. You're the last <laughs> chance I have. You're everybody. You're I every didn't, cartoon. I didn't even know. Carol. I don't remember. This is so awesome, you guys. And, I and just you're love you. you too. <laughs> I'm what? In peril. I, yeah. In peril. You were in peril right there. I guess I'm typecast <laughs> as the one in peril. But that's okay. You weren't in peril for this episode, though. So no, this is so so yeah. lovely. What a delight! Did did, uh, did you learn anything, Katie? From I learned so much. I, I learned, learned that I it. was Irona. I forgot about that. I yes. learned that I want to be a voiceover person so badly. What do you think about <laughs> this? What if what if I start smoking cigarettes and, and I get a unique voice from smoking cigarettes? Like, do I still have a chance? You know what I mean? Like, well, you either can do lots of voices or have one voice that everybody wants, like Lorenzo's. And, uh, you know, right. he, didn't, he didn't really do. What's if the you way watch, to go? If you watch my show, Tell You Later, watch last week's episode. That's yeah, Tell You Ya, Y A Later. I tell had You Townsend, Later. I had Townsend Coleman on, and we, we were talking about we did Glow Friends Save Christmas. And he was saying that, I think that was the episode. He, Townsend was telling the story about how they hired Lorenzo Music for some reason to do a moose. But you know, he only does one voice. <laughs> and they were saying, can you sound more moose-like to him? <laughs> and it's like pretty much Garfield, right? I mean, like- well, yeah, that's his voice. That, it's he never changed his voice, yeah. really. Just has a great voice, yeah. I learned that I think I have a career playing demented professors um, and Definitely. scientists. Definitely. You can so, totally do that. Fingers crossed. I'll just yeah, keep doing it. Yeah, I get 15% though. George, did you learn anything? You know, I think we all learned something. The fictional wealth of the Richie Rich family suggests an, an accumulation of commodities far beyond the ability for any one person to consume. 
In fact, in the year Richie Rich debuted, the marginal tax rate was 92%. This means the 8% of income that the Rich family kept was sufficient to power their fantastical activities, which makes them wealthier than Bruce Wayne, Scrooge McDuck, and Montgomery Burns combined. But what of his nemesis, Petey Proletariat? How many spin-offs did he get? And why is he communicating with millions of similarly beleaguered children? And why are they marching to the rich mansion with torches? <laughs> Viva la revolution. And that's why I always say, <laughs> the more you battle is twice the knowing. <laughs> yep. Wow. Okay. wow, that's heavy. It, it, it somehow always goes back to the proletariat with your, your blessings, George. I don't right. know why that is. Yes. But, uh, no, and, and remember, Richie did say the market's always changing. So yeah. <laughs> It's true. We, we learned something from Richie. I, I, you guys must know so much more about my career than I do. I got to pick your brains. That's all. Sure. Give us a call anytime. I will. Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch Tell You Later. I'm very excited about that. Always. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I always love learning more and it sounds very entertaining. It's, 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 it's. It's fun. It was our, uh, our, it was great fun, and we're still doing it. I just have different. I don't. I don't have my co-host anymore, so I'm trying to bring in, you know, my friends. I have Kimmy Robertson. I have a lot of the friends who work on Adventures and Odyssey with me, and uh, telling really interesting stories. So I highly recommend it. Yes. Nice. When the when they after they've watched all your episodes, which are <laughs> totally awesome, then maybe they can you know, squeeze in a little tell you later. There we go. I hope so. It sounds like a plan. I'm going to invent the machine where you can watch both simultaneously. Well, that's I'm really just, cool. Just and I, and to... I hope someday I get to work with you doing something. <laughs> I hope wow. so. Awesome. Uh, Katie, thank you so much for coming on thank and you. watching Richie Rich. And uh, we love your work. Come back sometime. Thank happy you. Saturday. Thanks happy, for that. Happy, happy Saturday, Saturday. everybody. Happy Saturday. Woohoo! Cheers.